this is a brick cabin review and today we have the Ultra Agents Mission HQ. I bet you guys have been waiting for something big like this. We'll start off with the minifigs first. I think. And I just want to point out it comes with a brick separator. Right after the minifigs. Okay. Let's start with um let's start with terrible. Um this guy goes with the mech. He has the helmet's pretty cool. His shirt, he has a regular shirt with like an alien on it. He has green gloves. It's black, but it is a green regular shirt with that it has like an alien thing on it. In the back, it says bad to the code. Guess he's a hacker. His helmet is made of two pieces of plastic and the green gloves. It's a glowing green. It's like transparent green. It doesn't really glow in the dark. And he has... And... Um... He has a gun. His gun... Has like a little keyboard, like a little screen. So it tells them what to do and gives them information. As the blaster at the end, the blaster part as this metallic silver piece. And this that comes with a lot of metallic silver pieces. And this is where it holds up the ball. That's how he looks without the weapon. And just so you can see his regular face. I'll take that off. Only saw part of it. That's his whole face. And on the back, he has no second face. Ah, broken. Well, that's finished with him. Let's go on to a, a regular agent in this set. This agent has a tie and some like tubing on him on his back and front. He has night vision goggles, a helmet, he has hands, and he has a little mouthpiece, like a little mouth talky, um, to his mouth, and he has a smiley face. Um you don't really need to see his whole face here. See, he doesn't really have anything that you don't see. He does have a second face. All the, I'm pretty sure all the agents do. That's him with his alternate face. And that's him with his night vision goggles. Okay, that's it for him. Now on to Agent Phoenix. I think that's her name. She's the only girl agent. Um, she has pink hair. She has like tubing on her back and stuff. She has a pink shirt, a tie. She's the only girl agent that does stuff. Um, she has like a blue um, mask on, kind of. And she has like a happy face. You see her whole face. I'm just going to take her hair off. 
I'm going to turn around, and she has a second face. She doesn't have that blue mask, and she has a different mouth. Okay. Now, on to this girl. She works at the base. She's like a scientist for the agents. Um, she has a regular shirt underneath her coat, her jacket or science lab coat, right, something. She has a pen in her pocket on it. She has goggles on and like a, hmm, face. And down her back she has a line. And on her front, again, she has like a name tag or a calculator, it looks like. She has plain legs, like, mostly all the others do. I didn't point out their leg prints, but I should have. <coughs> I'm going to take off her hair. And turn around. She has a second face. I just noticed that right now. I didn't know she had a second face. Filmer guy, please. Don't touch it with the lines. It. Okay, that's it for her. Now, the boss, the kind of agent boss. He's also a regular agent. He has um, a leg um, that's like a robotic leg. And he's from Galaxy Squad, too. Can't remember his name. But he has a tie, a jack, a coat or jacket. Um, I don't know exactly what to call it. I just forgot the name. And he has an agent's logo. He has, um, like, hmm, face. He has gray hair gray, and gray gloves. On his back, he has three, like, spikes. And... That's him, and he does have a second face, even though it's not much different from the first. Okay, now on to Turbite Smack. Terabyte, sorry. This mech is cool. This mech is awesome. This mech is everything you get the set for. Oh, well, that's exactly what I think. You heard me, right? I think. Um, it's a cool mech. I have to say, very cool. I'm just attaching something to the back here. I forgot to attach. Um... This mech... Has two chubby feet, and if I want to mention, this set has like 37 stickers. Has a lot. You'll see tons of stickers used. Um, he has stickers on his legs, on his nice chubby legs. It's his color scheme is trans trans green. Um, the agent's color scheme is light trans blue. Yeah, it has like little circles up here. You get up to the cockpit section, like the head, as the windscreen, even though Turbite can't see through, he's, his head sticks up here. And his gun sticks right over, if he's holding it. Um, you can rotate it. You can rotate the waist, but the plate falls off in the middle. On um, the feet have ball joints, so do the arms. And you can spin this claw, and it can grab. I'll just take one of 
the agents. Oops. These fall off easily though. At least on our set. What we got. For others, it may not even be able to put on. There. And here on the other arm, as the shooter, these shoot really well. And I'll shoot the camera. You. You. And if you shoot it and it gets lost, you're lucky. Because they have an extra. This is, I'll just put one in here. They have an extra. Um, that's not all. There's more. Um, sorry, I'm just rescuing the minifig. The minifig fell down. Maybe not a minifig. I'm missing one. <sighs> I know a minifig fell. Um, turning it around to the back, to spin it, it has this little thing. Spin the claw. And back here, it has tubing. Um, it has another sticker. Two lights behind terabyte, where is this? And this little thing, I'm going to show you what that is right now. That's a droid that can detach and fly off to defend turbite. There are rocket powered, it's rocket powered back here. Has a little antenna face and has wings. Just attaches right on. That's how it looks without the droid on. And now I'm going to show you it with turbite inside. I'm just going to sit her right down so you can see what he looks like inside his mech. Because it's his mech. That's how he looks inside. If he has his gun. Okay, now we'll finish with the mech. Now we're on to the truck. Oh yeah, this is what you get this set for. I still like the mech. That's what I got the set for. Really, it's for it was for the filmer's guy birthday. I'll start with the front here. And there's this lever over here. I'm going to show you a hidden feed. Not really hidden, but if you push that, wait. You're driving it, right? And you push that and it detaches and it falls down. So, okay, now just talk about this part of it. So, review will be very long. Sorry. Um, I'll start with the wheels going up. These wheels are cool because they have like energy symbolizing inside them. That light turns blue. The tires are very, very smushy. Yeah, that's how they made it. And the tires are very smushy. I wish you could feel them. They're so smushy. I could squish them all day. Um, squishy. I oh, hope I don't pop them. Um, but they have. But it's over here is where it goes on and hooks up to a truck. I'm not really gonna talk about that. Um, I'm just gonna put that back now. This here, I'm going to show you what that is. It has the like, slope down here. Over here has like, engines in the front. It has lots of lights. It has a nice big grill. And it has like a license plate. More lights. Just kidding. Just kidding. Those are laser cannons. If you haven't seen, seen those spring load shooters, I'm just going to shoot it out of my hand. They're very powerful. The most powerful Legos ever made. Ow! They go in these things. And they shoot really, really far. Just yes, last night, um, we shot one under the fridge by mistake. 
That's why they give you an extra, right? And there are levers on each side to you just pull them, push them up, and that one on that side flies out. Um, on the side there are more stickers on either side, and on the top there are like, like searchlights, the Ultra Agents logo, and two smokestacks right behind it, and it opens up the ratcheting joint. And even though it's so big, it only has room for one minifigure. Aww. But the big truck fits every single minifigure that comes in this set plus more. So if you get all the agents, you can all put them all in there. I think this set comes with all of them. Um, it doesn't come with all the villains, but... On uh, here, I'm going to show you what it is. It can be... It, it's an airplane, it's a rocket, it shoots off, it's wings fold out, and a minifigure can sit in this or you can use it as a droid whenever you want, whatever you want. And it just attaches on the Technic pin um, over there. It opens if you want to put a minifigure in as a control panel. And does like resting area back there. Has lasers on the side, and that's really all. On this part of the truck. Now this part, the main part. You can't open it up. I can't open it up. It's not big enough, really. Maybe it is. We'll see. Um, this is not the side you're looking at, right? It, um, when it's on, when it's hooked up, this opens up like that over there if you want to. Um, we're going to look at the details inside soon. Um, you can hear the filmer guy keeps correcting me and tells me what to do here. This is his birthday present. Um, yeah, on a hundred dollar set for just his birthday. Um, in the back here, it also opens up, and it has the agent's logo, and that's that. But you can't really do anything inside unless you open it up. Even though you can't open the roof, it doesn't really do much good. You can open up the roof, but you still just see everything folded up. Just clamped in there. Okay. Let's fold these back down now. And show you the real deal. I'll just keep doing the outside first. Um, as these metallic silver pieces, um, the wheels are the same as these things. More stickers. The other side is the same exact thing. And for some reason, I just want to mention, they get they give this this piece in the set. It's not metallic silver. It's just a regular one, and it has the pin size things at the end. It doesn't say to put in the instructions, but you see it on the box and stuff. I still don't know where to connect it from, though. So I didn't put it. It's like an extra piece, an extra cool piece. Filmer guy says he knows where to put it. I want him to show me after this review is finished. There's a satellite dish on top that can be angled and spun. Um, now, you see there's an arrow. That's also a sticker. Even though this has plenty of prints, it also has plenty of stickers. It probably has as many prints as stickers. Um, you just push this kind of out and down. It's hard. And it opens. And you just fold these down. Fold these up a little. We'll still leave that off to the side filmer. Um, this is the HQ.
It doesn't look good without population. For some reason. Um, inside it's very cool. We'll start from, I think, down here. Here, there's an ATV. Uh, it has the like engine electrical thing and a sticker on the front with the agent's logo. Can't take it out right now. It has flick fire missiles that can be shot very easily. I think they made new fire, flick fire pieces. One more guy. May you get it. Can you get it? Please. Okay, thanks. Um, over here, these are connection points to up here when you close it. It's t connected by Technic axles and stuff. Oh, I forgot to fold this up. The, and on this ATV, there's more. If there's like an emergency, right? Well, The ATV could be shot. That went out pretty fast. It has a Technic axle that holds it in place. Um. Now, uh, not a Technic axle. Technic pin. Sorry, filmer guy just corrected me. There are two stud shooters on the sides. If you haven't seen these, <coughs> these, um, you push on the top and. The, it could be anything si stud sized that shoots out. But it has to have a stud on the top. Like if it's a one by one circle tile or a one by one tile, it doesn't fit because it has to have a stud on the top. It, can't, it comes with two of the same. Now I'll be on to these over um, here. Over here, um, if we're getting really close here, uh, get really close, a little too close, but it has the agent symbol. It says log in and it has like some dots, like as letters, and it says password and it has like dots as letters, and it says quad access. So that means you can go on the quad. Over here, this looks like a charger or adding bullets to the stud shooter, like a charger or something. Because it has the stud shooter and it has like loading and it has like a bar and grain filled in partly. Um, then they have this little bridge and caution on both sides, also back here. You can't see it. They have stickers all around this thing. You'll see stickers on the sides here. I'll just take this off. You'll see stickers on the sides. There's a, a lock sticker on the back, too. It's trans blue, like all the things. Um, this is a jail cell for um, when they catch ter um, terabyte. And he just goes in the jail cell without his weapon. It just opens up, just spins around and opens up. You just put him backwards and then spin it back closed again. And then he's trapped in there. They could take his view and stuff, how bad he is, um, and stuff like that, even though they probably already know. And over here, there's a desk for a person who stays at the HQ. There's a sample um, here that's showing on the computer screen. There's um, a little keyboard. There's a microscope down here showing part of some something. You know, they put in like a case. So that's like the case. Another sticker. And over here, there's a crane. That can be folded out and all around and stuff. Um. Ooh, 
I forgot something with the minifigs. I'm very, very sorry. If you noticed, I forgot. Um, Phoenix's jetpack. I do not know where her jetpack is, but it has a spot to hook the jetpack and like bring her down. Somewhere. That jetpack I cannot find it right now. I'm very very sorry. You can probably there are pictures online and stuff. There's a ladder to get up here. I forgot. Why is this moving? This isn't studded. That's why. Ah, none of this is. I'm very, very sorry for your inconvenience for our inconvenience. Okay, the satellite goes through the a little square here, and over here there's like a storage place. Oh, it's still shaking. There's like a storage place it has a walkie-talkie, binoculars, Star's binoculars, and two white blast double blasters. Um, there's a caution strip back there. I have no idea why. Over on. Film a guy. It's fine. Um, over here they have a computer. A big computer. And some panels. So you can go on the, that. Over here there's a screen. Um, and seats. Two seats for agents. And over here, I'm going to go over what's on the screen first, though. Um, on the screen, it says Agent Phoenix, and she's reporting something. As you can see, it's like Skype. I don't know what that's down there. But that's Terabyte's helmet. It's taking a scan of him. It was, I don't know what this is, but this is a map of Astro City and where the criminals are and stuff. So that's like a screen. And over here... There's a, um, a case with a laptop in it, and they used another sticker on the laptop. It's a black laptop. If you haven't seen these before, check them out. Um, they op it opens up, and they use a sticker for the screen. And this is the mission in this set. There was only one gray laptop, and Filmer Guy got it. Um, but the rest come in black for now. I think I've seen them in other colors other than black. This is the mission of the set. This is what Terabyte is trying to get. That's the mission it comes with that you can now download. If you get the set, you can download the mission um, if you play the Ultra Agents app game. Um, do I have any more to say? Just for closing and storage and stuff, first I'm going to put the ATV back. Um, for folding up, you fold the ladder down. You fold these, you fold that in. Good job. You fold these up. You fold this up, you fold these down, and